all right so we're back in again uh this episode we're gonna be basically checking our baton quest configuration learning how to make an npc um i might as well chuck in learning a few basics about npcs while i'm at it uh so yeah let's get right into it open our show server uh, and then we're gonna go into plugins. So here we've got, you know, what you dragged in before, and also these four that have been generated automatically. Okay, so we're gonna want page on quest. Okay, so we go into that, and then we want config. So now it opens this. This might look confusing at first, but right now it's nothing much uh... so you know we've got a few basic things quest items are unbreakable not really necessary at the moment we need this part right here alright so do we it's basically asking us what plugins do we have or what plugins are we going to use so world edit false legend quest again false Basically, it's all going to be false, except citizens. All right. So this is basically telling it that uh, that we don't have these plugins. So don't depend on it. Basically. Uh, also, just because there's quests doesn't mean that it's talking about beta on quests. It's a different plugin. Don't get mixed up with that. Uh, if you're gonna actually run a server and you're not just part of the discord and I, I, I didn't just you didn't just click on this video from the discord uh, I highly suggest if you're gonna build something you use uh, world edit it's just it makes everything easier it's pretty it's good and also world guard so you can protect it this is just some basics okay so there we go, we only got citizens. Okay, now we can run our server. Open Minecraft. And I don't know why, but mine always takes long to start up. So we'll just let it go. Alright. Didn't take as long that time. Open our multiplayer tab and then join it. Alright, so now that we're in, let me just full screen this so it's better. Alright, what we're gonna need to do is type npc create, and in this case, uh, it's already a default uh, quest capital I N N K E E P E R innkeeper with capital I. So that will create this guy with a with his nice little detailed skin. Okay. Also, if we right click him, ah no. Okay, all good. So yeah, this is how you make an NPC. Super easy. Uh, if we do NPC help, we get these uh, commands. So there's eight pages of this, and I'll just do a select few of them. So for example, we can do NPC inventory, and it will open his inventory. If it doesn't let you do that, it can sometimes say please select or something like that, please select an NPC. Then you just do NPC select when you're looking at them. There we go. And then you can do NPC if you want to find details like the ID, the type, where they were spawned, and the traits. Okay, so we can also do NPC equip. Let's just give them. Uh, sword doesn't really fit in Innkeeper. Let's just give them. I don't know, sponge. Say he's cleaning the cleaning the surface. 
Uh, so let me do NPC equip again to get out of that. There we go. Now he's going to stay with this in his hand. Uh, we can also do NPC game mode. Change that to survival, and you can. You can't hit him actually unless you set a trait, which is a whole new thing. You need actual separate plugins for it. Uh, NPC rename. You can rename to whatever you want. So, yeah. But in this case, that will also change the skin too. We just want innkeeper. Uh, you can also do NPC skin, and if we want the keb skin because we thought it looked good, you know, we can change it to that. But we're just gonna stick to the innkeeper. All right. Uh, we can also do NPC look. This will make NPC look at you. Nice little feature. Makes them look a little more alive. <laughs> so yeah, that's just a few basics. Uh, I'm not going to dig into it, but yeah. So now, if we go into our plugins, Baton Quest, we're going to set up the our basically sample quest, which is if we go default, conversations, and innkeeper. As you can see, same name, I did it for a reason, I'm not just going crazy. Okay, so here's the setup for this sample quest. Not necessary at the moment, but it's a good reference if you're creating your own. Quit out of that, and let's go back to the Baton quest route. And then we want to go to default again, and then main. Okay, so here you can see NPCs. Basically, we've got only one number in here. Alright, so this number is the ID of the NPC that you spawned. So if you want to find the NPC ID, NPC select, yep, NPC. And there you go, ID. Let's go ID 1. Alright, so let's stop. The reason why I stopped this is in case you are, uh, are wondering why I didn't just reload. It's because a lot of the time when I've done this, it's you've reloaded and nothing really changes. So we're just going to stop because it basically just starts back up straight away again. So we can go straight back into it. Alright, there we go, he'll spawn in too. If we right click him, the conversation will start. And we'll get this little neat chest UI. So you can see the question here. Yeah, welcome to my end sandwich, what can I do for you? And then it will state the question and then you know in blue it will put what you can choose to say. So you can say I have questions, do you have some quests, I need money, or buy. Do you have some quests? So he says I was making new mugs for beer but I run out of but I ran out of wood. Can you bring me some from the nearby forest? So we can choose to decline, on the other hand, I don't want that money, or sounds okay. So let's go sounds okay. So you can still ask other questions, they lead on a little conversation route, it's pretty pretty neat. Uh, which is why I'm choosing to use it personally. Okay, so we're going to go, okay, so I'm going to cut some trees. And then it will end, you can't choose anything else from that, that's the end of the conversation if you, you know, that's the end of the path. So, yep, we can just exit out of that. So, we need to cut some trees. So, let's put ourselves into game mode 1. Oh, sorry, not game mode 1. Actually, let's get an axe first. So, we can speed this up. So, game mode 0, actually. So, if we also do, uh, on a side note, if we do slash J, it will give you this little book. There you go. The innkeeper asked me to bring him 16 blocks of wood from the nearby forest. Which is pretty neat. You know, so you don't forget what you're doing. <laughs> Alright, so that's 16 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Done. 7, 8, 
Nine, ten. Oop. Let's get rid of that pesky block. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. Nice little uh, update to your journal. So this is a journal that I pulled out before with slash J. If we open it again, the innkeeper asks me to bring uh, him 16 blocks of wood from nearby forest. Yep, that's what we said before. So it's been updated, timestamp here. I collected 16 block of wood. Blocks should be, and I should have another L, but that's alright. You get the you get the picture. I should return to the innkeeper. Alright, so let's just go in one. We don't need to be in survival anymore. Because it's actually... The reason why I went into survival and didn't just take it out of here is because it actually checks if you are... You can actually make a check that you went out and destroyed the blocks and collected them. Or if you collect the blocks. So if we open him again... How's it going with that wood? I collected all the wood. Comes up as a new thing. So this is basically a condition to say that the the player has 16 wood, or they've p completed the task, basically. So boom, you take it and make an exchange. Boom, emeralds. Easy. So that's basically a sample quest. If this hasn't worked for you, then this is like level. <laughs> this is like level zero of it. If you can't get this innkeeper to start a conversation, then you need to fix it like right away. Uh, the reason why uh, you can also do it with a, I think a clay block. Uh, this is if you don't have citizens, you didn't install it. That means also in the config, you need to. Um, if you just don't want to use citizens, or if it's too heavy for the for your computer, citizens you can set it to false, and you won't have to do the ID except instead sorry you put a sign down on a clay block bracket a square bracket NPC capital letters and then on the next line so line number two in keeper oh, I think <laughs> there we go And we put a head down and you would be able to right click the head and it would work but we have the citizens enabled or set to true so it will work here instead which is much more preferable personally <laughs> yeah so uh, basically super simple uh, fundamental part though uh, next episode I'll tell you how to start just a simple conversation all right see you then